Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy, on Tuesday, the, oh, what's today's date? 22nd of February, 2011. Yesterday, Monday, marked my 100th week post-op, 100, triple digits in the post-op world. That means 101 weeks ago, I started the pre-op liquid diet. And yesterday marked my week 31 in maintenance, yes. And it also marked uh, eight days without a scale to weigh in, right? So happy to report uh, that that scale did not change. So 101 weeks ago, I started 244.6 pounds on this body. 31 weeks ago, July 2010, I met my goal weight, which was 145.6. It was actually 145.4. And last week, I didn't have a weigh-in on Monday, but on Sunday, before I left for my trip, I was 145.8. And I played a strong game last week. I think I play a strong game all the time, for the most part. Um, but there were certain days that I felt like you know, my pants were bigger than they were the day before, and then I might come home and see 140 or 143. Um, so, yeah, I stepped on the scale Sunday night, Monday morning when I got home, and then again Monday when I got out of bed at 11, uh, and 145.8. So, pretty interesting. Um, and I feel great. Um, today is, I'm, I'm 23 months post-op, guys, you know. Uh, February 23rd, I was, had surgery on March 23rd, well, I count the 23rds and the Mondays, I don't know. Uh, so one more month, and I am two years post-op. Hmm, pretty crazy. Uh, so I have a very short period of time today, another crazy week for me. Um, a couple of things I wanted to hit, uh, I wanted to thank you all for your comments, for the personal messages that you sent me. Uh, for your response videos, those of you who have made them, about my video, I Fear Getting Fat Again, Do You? And that's a whole nother, nother conversation to be had. Um, I, I'm not losing sleep. <laughs> I never lose sleep. Uh, I'm not depressed or unhappy. Uh, I am addicted to exercise before I'm addicted to the scale. Um, it was a good practice for me, a good measure. I knew going into the week that I wasn't going to have that scale. And I could have changed that because I've changed it in the past, but I decided to roll with it. So I made that video knowing that if I am having those thoughts um, without my scale, that somebody else out there is having their thoughts without the scale. So challenge yourself. Weigh yourself once a week. See what happens. I think it would be very difficult. I know it would be difficult. I have three scales in my house. Um, to do that while you're at home, while you have access to a scale. And I also know some of my biggest challenges is when I'm on the road and I'm at, out of my own environment. I'm not at my own gym. I don't have my own refrigerator. I'm eating all my meals out, right? Um, but over the last 23 months, I've made a lot of progress in that area. And I shared all my food, um, the good, the bad, and the not so good, uh, on Facebook, Proof WLS Works YouTube on Facebook. So many of you saw it. I keep it real, you know. Uh, this journey is about living a life that you love and that you can enjoy and that you can be proud of. And that's how I feel, you know. I'm in the same place I was last week as far as my feeling about being fit and being fabulous. My positive mental attitude every day, that's what renews the spirit and the energy to keep on going. I really don't take vacations, you know, to each his own. But life is not a vacation, right? Um, and if you have to take a vacation, really, from doing the healthy lifestyle thing, then maybe you need to reevaluate. Maybe you're putting, maybe you're not really living that healthy, right? Because if you're living healthy, it's natural. It becomes normal. At least that's what I'm finding, right? Um, so thank you all for being uh, involved and commenting and opening up that discussion with me. And um, I, I, I actually have a challenge um, that I'm putting in place starting on Wednesday with relation to the scale. I'm leaving town again. I'm traveling to Houston. So I'll be there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday night. Anybody who lives in Houston and wants to go to Starbucks, let me know. I did have a chance to meet someone in Las Vegas. Um, things did not come together in Chicago, but I'm willing to try again in, in Houston. 
Um, and so I won't have a scale next Monday when I do my weekly video. And I'm going to be four weeks away from my two-year post-op. And there is a certain freedom without having that scale, right? And I do think it makes me feel mentally more on my A game with regard to exercise and food, even if the choices are not any different when, versus when I have my scale. So I'm going to push myself. Um, I'm going to push myself not to weigh in. Um, we'll see how it goes because I'm going to be at home eventually um, until March 23rd, which will be my two-year surge anniversary. So starting February 23rd to March 23rd, no weigh-ins. And if for some reason since I live here and the scale's here and I'm going to be home, maybe it'll just be on Monday, one day. Uh, my husband's eight years, almost nine years post-op gastric bypass, extremely successful. He's half the man he used to be. He doesn't believe in the scale. It's all about his clothes. Uh, he knows when he's up, you know, uh, based on the clothes that he has. He knows how to change his diet. You know, he can make slight changes by drinking more water and eating out less and making sure he has his cans of tuna on the train and he can drop the extra weight if he feels like he needs to. So he, neither one of us are ever going to let, let the other one get fat again. Um, and we both know that. Uh, and he, you know, hates that I have the scale thing, right? So anyway, his, uh, his success um, in, of eight years, no scale really, uh, is pushing me and my own success in eight days of not gaining any weight, you know? So I'm thinking about it. That's what I'm working on. More on that next Monday. Um, but my clothes fit. My cho food choices are good. I'm fit. I'm happy. You know, if my mom wasn't sick, the world would be perfect, right? Um, so what else do I want to say? I... Uh, I created a new challenge based on watching the show Heavy on A&E. If you haven't watched it, you should. Heavy on A&E. And they uh, did a challenge. A guy lost 180 pounds in six months. So he challenged himself that he wanted to run one minute on the treadmill for every pound he lost. That's 180 minutes, folks. And I put it up on my Proof WLS Works YouTube Facebook page last night. Already 56 comments. There's like 27 or 28 people that have joined the challenge. It started with myself and one other person. I've lost 99 pounds, right, was my goal. And my friends lost 122. I'm running 122 because I think I can, right? There's people who are running 39. There's people who are running 170. There's people that are doing 91, you know? Um, so for every pound you've lost, run a minute. And that doesn't mean sprint. And if you can't run all of them, I don't care if you hop, skip, jump, squat, bicycle, every pound that you've lost, do some type of exercise for a minute. Make a video, uh, post a picture of yourself, or post a picture of the display on the machine when you're done, or post a picture of your sweat. Tell us how it felt to push yourself that far. I think there's some real power in being able to exercise for the same number of minutes uh, as the number of pounds that you've lost. So anyway, I gotta go. It's time for me to get moving today. Thank you all for your support. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Uh, engage in intense exercise, right? Be willing to change your diet. Uh, do not say, I can't or I don't, right? Positive mental attitude is going to take you to your destiny, which is living a life you love, and just remember, you're worth it, right? All right, I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.